What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be going over all the frog lures that I plan on using for the 2020 season as well as the equipment that I plan on throwing them with. If you're like me, you absolutely love frog fishing. It's one of the most versatile ways to bass fish. Almost all the lures are completely weed weedless and you can throw them in the thickest bush possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in today. We'll go ahead and start with the uh, Gavacho frog by Jack Aw. This one comes in at 2.7 inches long and 5 eighths of an ounce. This is a popping frog and this is the red frog color. Let's go ahead and open it up, take a look. Even though they call it red frog, this is more of a uh, brownish and black color. Uh, it's got gold eyes, it's got a red mouth on the popper, and that's going to uh, chuck up a bunch of water as you pop it. Uh, you can also walk this. It has three legs on it. The longest one is in the middle. It's pretty flat. Uh, it looks just like a regular frog as far as the size goes. Uh, the hooks on this though, man... I know this is a popular frog, but I think I'm going to have to bend the hooks out on that. They just don't stick out enough when you uh, push the frog in. Uh, but it looks nice. Can't wait to use this one. I also got it in uh, the white color. Which is just white with some gray stripes. A little bit of blue on there. White mouth. So i got a light color and a dark color. Again, this is the Jackaw Gavacho Popping Frog. This one's the Lunker Hunt Pocket Frog. This one's really tiny. It comes in at 1.75 inches long and weighs a quarter of an ounce. I got a green one and a black one. I've never really liked Lunker Hunt uh, products, but I got these for Christmas and I won't turn down free equipment. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. This thing actually seems really realistic. It's just very tiny, more of a finesse type frog. Uh, the legs are very realistic. Can't wait to throw this one. Uh, the hooks look a little tiny though. Not sticking out much, maybe bend those out. But this is the pocket frog from Lunker Hunt. This one's the Tekel Maraca frog. I almost always had one of these tied on last year. Uh, this thing worked great. I caught a lot of big bass on this. It's pretty uh, similar to the uh, Tekel Sprinkler Frog, except for the prop is different in the back. This one weighs uh, 5 eighths of an ounce and is 2.75 inches long. And this is the Old White Shore color. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So this is it, the Tekel Maraca Frog. Uh, as you can see, the hooks actually come out a little below the body and then come back up at an angle. So when, you, when I push down on this, that hook is really exposed. A lot of the fish I caught last year just set the hook on themselves. So this has a great hookup ratio. And then the prop on the back puts off a lot of flash, a lot of bling, and it's got a lot of noise. So as that's spinning through the water or twitching, that rattle's calling the fish up, the shine's calling the fish up, and it's more durable than the sprinkler frog or sprinkler frog. Uh, those tails got chewed up and you ended up having to get replacement tails. Uh, these still can break. You hit a log or a rock <clears throat> on a hard long cast. It's not going to rattle quite like it did out of the box. But this is a great lure. It might be the best frog on the market. Um, it is the best frog on the market that I've thrown. But I also haven't thrown a couple of these frogs that uh, I'm getting ready to show you. So again, this is the Tekel Maraca Frog. This is the Jackaw Kiara Frog. This is supposed to be a smaller profile frog, but this is supposed to be the absolute juice. I got two of these. I uh, heard a lot about these last year, but didn't get a chance to throw one. I got a Kiara White and a Glitter Hasu. It looks like these are 2.2 inches long, and they only weigh half an ounce. So let's go ahead and open them up and take a look. This is definitely a smaller profile frog, but it looks and feels awesome. Um, it's got your basic legs on the back like a normal frog. Uh, it's very level on the top. Uh, it's got kind of a ball, uh, like a bulldogish body. Looks like this thing's got muscle, man. Uh, but when you actually push in on it, and that's what I'm looking for is that. Look at how much that hook is exposed. Dude, the hookup ratio on this, I already know, is going to be absolutely fire. 
And the box says that um, smaller frogs are usually harder to walk, but this one is supposed to be just as easy as a regular size frog. Really excited to uh, throw this. This is just a basic white color, but I do want to look at this other color because it, it looks really great. So let's go ahead and pull that one out too. So this one is the Glitter Hasu, and there's lots of glitter on the sides. It looks like it's a gray and purplish color. The top's got a nice purple shine, even though the fish don't really see the top. Uh, the bottom's got some glitter to it. Uh, a little bit of purple on there too. Uh, those legs, man, those look pretty dope. And those hooks, man, I'm telling you, I've, I'm not sure how good a justice the camera is doing on that. But I'm telling you, these things are going to have a good hookup ratio. So if you don't know about the Kira Frog like I didn't, now you know. I can't wait to give this one a shot. The Super Nato Frog by Molox is a buzz type frog. So this is something you're just going to reel in with a steady retrieve. There's no need to walk the dog with this type of lure. Uh, the body on it is two and a half inches long. And then the tail is two inches, so the total length of the lure is four and a half inches, and the weight is three fourths of an ounce. This is the silver albino color, and I also got the black mamba color. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a look. Here we have the silver albino color, and the first thing I'm going to look at is those hooks. And man, that's looking just as good, if not better, than the uh, Kira frog. This is going to have a good hookup ratio. And these the, these uh, legs feel heavy, man. Those are going to be buzzing. That's going to put off a lot of noise. Uh, the body feels good. I did notice there is a hole on the top of the lure. And before I bought this, I watched some other YouTube videos. And some people were complaining about how this frog was sinking and taking in water. Well, they were letting it, they were pausing and just letting it stand still. So... That's where the water was coming from. This is definitely a buzz frog. You're not just going to let this frog sit or twitch it or walk it. You're going to reel it in, maybe do a slow pause, and then just start reeling again. They do make replacement tails. Uh, I've never replaced one, but it looks like there's three prongs that come out of the back. Um, just like the Teckle Sprinkler Frog. Eventually, these will get chewed up, but this lure is looking great. So this one's the Silver Albino. Let me show you the Black Mamba real quick. This one is the Black Mamba. It's pretty much just black all the way through, except for the bottom does have a grayish color. And also, I forgot to show you the bottom of the Silver Albino, but this is actually, uh, has a pinkish color going across the bottom. Interested to see how that works. Again, this is the Super Nato Frog. Last up, we have the Teckle Sprinkler Frog. This one is four and a half inches in length, including the tail, and it's five eighths of an ounce. This is the bone color, and this lure's been out for a while. It's pretty popular. If you've never seen it or heard of it, um, it's basically a weedless whopper plopper, or as uh, close to one as you're going to get. It's got a uh, paddle tail, and as you're reeling it in, it sounds very similar, but not the exact same as a whopper plopper. Um, but it is weedless. It's got a good hookup ratio. They make spare tails for these because they will get chewed up. And this is another great frog from Tekel, the Tekel Sprinkler Frog. So those are all the frogs that I'll be throwing in the 2020 season, but I thought I'd also share with you what gear I'm going to be throwing them on. Um, I'm a Daiwa guy, straight through and through, head to toe, from the hat to the face guard to the line to the rod to the reel. I don't get paid for any of that. I only have 200 subscribers on my channel. I don't get paid for any of this. So I'm just telling you what I use. And I go with that Daiwa J braid, 50 pound, all day, 50 pound braid. You don't have to worry about breaking off, bringing anything through the thick bush uh, with that 50 pound braid. And then I also got my Tatula CT 100 HS. Uh, this is a 7.3. I know the popular thing is to go with the highest... Uh, ratio as you can for crank speed and bring it in line but you lose torque with that and uh i like to roll with a 7.3 so i got the daiwa tatula ct100 hs 7.3 gear ratio with that j braid 50 pound braid on there and then i just have the basic daiwa 50 uh 50 dollar seven foot heavy rod that's it i think it's the air xd all the links to all these lures and this equipment, as well as the rod, which I can't show you because this uh, office isn't big enough to put rods in. But I'll have links to all that in the description, so you won't have to worry about going back and writing any of these down. 
I know these videos with these lures and equipment are kind of a look what I got video, but it's not. I'm just trying to show you what I have because it might interest you in something that you haven't seen and something that you may want to use. Not all these lures I have used, especially these frogs, and I'm looking forward to using them uh, as soon as this ice melts. And I hope you guys have a good season out there. Good luck fishing. Keep those lines tight. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.